All right, welcome back. This next part is going to be discussing the admin type of user role associated with a typical app. So I'm gonna set my main account, which is the WebCrunch one here, here uh, to be an admin. And currently we're getting an error because we don't have this role that exists and Rails has no idea what this has role means. Uh, so we'll go through the steps of doing this. We're gonna be using a couple of gems called uh, let's see what they're called. Can, can, can is one and Rollify is the other. They work together to kind of integrate into Devise in a decent manner. And you can set up different roles based on your app. So for a forum, it might make sense to create an admin role, a moderation role, and maybe an editor role. You can do those to your heart's content. I don't really need that for this small of an app because this is more or less an exercise. If I were building a full-fledged forum, I would definitely go that route though and maybe hook into device invitable to where I can invite users with that role. Um, but that's a topic for another time and that's probably an even longer video. So I won't go crazy there, but I definitely recommend extending this if you're interested. So we have those gems installed so the next thing I really want to do is kind of look to a tutorial I found on Devise on the website. Um, let me see if I can find it here. It's so called, called Rollify Community. Yeah, so you can add Devise to can, can, can with Rollify and it kind of just walks you through the steps here. I'll show you how to do that in a more concise way, but I just wanted to show you that the resource is out there if you want to go do it yourself. Uh, but this will kind of teach you through how that works. So the first thing we want to do is create a couple generations that are built into those gems. And we can do so by running Rails generate can can. Let me verify that's 100% correct. I don't know if it's three or one. Yeah, it's can can. Okay, cool. And then ability is what we're looking for. So this is gonna generate an ability model. And in that, well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and generate a Rollify user. I believe that works. Let me again check the article i think i have the typing right yeah we have basically fallen along so let's do that it tells you what it did it creates an initializer file you can kind of customize if you want to do some stuff there but i'm going to leave it as is so next we'll actually go into our database and do a rake db migrate you can run rails db migrate there too if you want and it should create a join table, which is users roles. And it's just a way of communicating roles with users based on device. So we define that by creating this generation or um, generator before, which was right here. So we define those two things. So cool. Now in our model that was generated, we're gonna go to the app model and there'll be two new models. One role, which I believe we won't have to touch, and then ability. Ability we do. So in this one, I'm going to basically create just a single admin user, and that's about it. You can define this to be whatever you want, uh, but really all we need to do is uncomment this and we'd be set. But I'm gonna make this, instead of just that admin, I'm gonna put a has role and the question mark and then colon admin. And you can delete these comments if you want. So basically this is saying for each new user who has a role of admin, they can manage all, otherwise they can read all. That's just kind of the way it works. And then on our role, we should be set there. The next thing we need to do is add resourceify to our models that we want to track for these abilities. And I'm going to do that for, uh, let's see the discussion for sure. 
So you literally just type resource fly. And I believe we'll do this for channel. And I don't know if we do it for reply. No, we don't. And then for the user, we have to type rollify, which is there. That gets added by default when you run that generation. Great. So you would basically put resourceify under all the models that you want to have the ability to do its work on. So if you want to admin something, you'd put this there. So what's next is to basically create an admin user. And you can't really do that with the interface currently. I think you could if you wanted to really set up device to be such a thing. Uh, but the way I'm going to do it is in the Rails console. And it's really defining an admin user kind of trivial. So it's not so much that you need to do it often, you know? So I wouldn't even really stress over an interface if you're comfortable with using Rails uh, console to do so. So I'm gonna find user dot find, and we would look for the user you want the admin uh, to basically be, actually just find user. And it's gonna do this crap. And I'm gonna look for all the users. And my ID person I want is for this email and it's gonna be ID one. So we can do at user equals find or user, or we could just put at user equals user dot find and then pass in one and it should spit back that only user. There we go. All right, so then we have that available to us just as user and clean this up. So at user is that. So now we need to do at user dot add role since we have this available to us now and then just type a space and then in quotes put admin and then hit enter and you'll see all this stuff happen. And it's basically just saying I'm an admin now. So that's kind of cool. And if you really just want to do some trivial stuff, you just put user.save. And then if you want to see all the roles, you can do at user.roles on that user. And you'll see that there's one for admin, which is my ID. So if that makes sense, hopefully it does. So that's pretty much all you do to set your own account as an admin. So we can hit control D to get out of this. And now, my account has admin rights. So if I want to go back to my account and edit it, I should be able to do so. But the only thing that's stopping us is that I created a handy helper to check for this stuff. So I'm going to go into my helpers again and go into the application helper. And at the very top under the require statement, I'm going to create a new one because I want to have access to this entire, throughout the entire app. I'm going to do one called role, or has role, and then pass in the role. Has role. So we're just basically calling what's on that guide. I'm just making a helper out of it so I don't have to type this in each of my views. And this is extendable for the sake of you could pass in any kind of role here. If you want more than one here, you can add one. So you can do like else with Ruby. That's what else if looks like. It's weird, I know. But then you can just add one that says, you know, like user that has role and then moderator or something. You could do that. But I'm going to leave it as is. So we've got our helper then. And this should kind of sum up this view. So now it displays and it shows that, hey, I am currently an admin. So kick ass. So last but not least is to make sure this button is hidden. 
So I'm gonna go back into our views, into our sidebar. And I put this comment here so we can do an admin role um, check that will that should do the trick. So if we do if has role question mark and then we just type in that colon admin we should get this to display the way we want. So since I'm an admin, it's not going to change anything. But if I were to log out and log in as J Smitty. It's not there. Cool. All right. So since Jay Smitty authored this one, notice the buttons are present. He didn't author this one. So I'm going to sign out again, sign in as my admin account. And you'll notice, okay, since I authored this one, I can edit this one. That makes sense. But I want to be able to author Jay Smitty's as well. So we can go back into the views where we did that check initially and update it accordingly. So we'll do in our shared file, wherever that check is for the user we could do or has role admin and boom. So I can edit that now. Sweet. So cool. So I can delete that. I can edit it. I can do a new channel and do all that stuff. Um, the same is true for create a new channel. So say I could probably just go to channels and show you though. Oops. So here I, I'm going to fix this up to where I have access to this. I won't see this, but if someone else goes and accesses it, they won't have access to any of it. So let's go ahead and go to our channels, our index, and we can uncomment this now. Great. And then I could probably just throw like a as text center. Something like so. Uh, let me get rid of this comments. So great, so that text is gone. If I were to log out and go to channels, boom. Sorry, you don't have access to this page. Cool. Great, so I think we're taking shape. Log in once more. And I could extend this further. So say on my comments, it makes sense that I can edit them, but I want to, you know, edit J Smitty's too. So let's do that for the replies. Uh, where are we at? If reply author, we could do the same thing here. So has role question mark colon admin. I can edit this. Awesome. Great. So that is the finishing part of the admin level stuff. Um, up next, I'm going to tackle these URLs because you notice there's a two there and I want it to actually say like design thinking or first discussion when we go into the actual path. So it's way easier to share it with your friends or just link to it on social media or something like that. So that will be the topic of the very next video and probably round out this short course, short series, whatever you want to call it. I'll talk to you in the very next video.